Hardy Lord. One day, Sir Tottenham Hat came and said, Hey, Gordon, can you do some jobs? Okay. And he set off. A smelter's yard was in front of Cranky. Hardy, Lordy, he said. Why is nothing in there? And Cranky turned around. Gordon, Salty, Rosie, what are you doing here? I thought we're supposed to work here at the docks. He answered. No! You're supposed to send trucks here! Okay. They said. And Salty came over to the car seat and said. Rosie, shunt trucks, okay? And Rosie did. He shunt the truck. Well, Gordon had to take the coach for a train. And then, he went over the hill, through the station. I gotta get the truck. Oh, now, say the brake man, can you gobble this up? Hey, that's salty. Oh, no, he said. And then, Gordon went down to the main line with Arthur and Emily. Oh, no, he said. I can't stop. And he weeped. The dots. Hey, fingers and ashes. What's that going on? And the smelter's yard beside Gordon, he went down to the same place. And then Arthur went into the works, the steamworks. And then Arthur came out of the steamworks. And then with the car, all the engines went shunting at the docks. Salty got the special car through the tunnel. But then there was trouble. It wouldn't fit through. Oh dear, said Cranky. Why did I bring that car? And the, But it went through the next time he tried. But it's big front went. Emily came with the new caboose. Hey, Cranky! Hey, Cranky! The new caboose! Oh, yeah. I'll unload it later. Cranky was... Ha Cranky had no sleep. Emily pushed the brake van through the tunnel by the docks. Emily went through... saw Gordon by the steam works. And then he let the two engines cross. And then Emily was sent to take all these things. They didn't look at the new brake band though. And then he went inside Steamworks. And then the middle engine machine was inside working hard.
and then Emily said, Emily felt them push forward. Ah, I'm run away. Hurry, Gordon. Hurry. But it was too late. Emily crashed straight onto Gordon and was completely off the rails. Wow, said Cranky. I need to pick all this up. I'm really far away from it. Then in the first place, why are Henry, Edward, and Toby stuck in the siding? Oh, well, said Cranky. 